Okay, so I've bought this new Enviro Plus board for the Raspberry Pi, and I'm going to try setting it up with the Advanced Python Development Sensors code. I have not tried anything with this yet. I've had it plugged in, um, but I've not installed the code, so as you can see, it's not doing anything right now. Um, I'm starting off with a connection in Jupyter to this copy of the Pi, which has the Advanced Python Development code installed. And I can test things here. Um, all right, let's get started. Uh, I think the first thing we need to do. So the first thing we need to do is get the code installed, the, actually the interface code from Pymarone. So let's have a look at how you do that. Pymarone Enviro code examples, Python library. Now, I know you could just pip install this, but there's a lot of setup with Raspberry Pi things about making sure all the interfaces are enabled correctly. So I'm going to see what they have available. Uh, right, so they have a one-line install that you can pipe to bash, which uh, is convenient, but it always makes me a bit nervous. What does that do? Leave that for now. Or install and configure from GitHub or from PyPy and configure manually. Uh, okay, it looks like there are two commands we need to run to enable I squared C. So I'll do that as root and enable SPI. Done, okay. And I'm gonna pip env install Enviro Plus. What's this down the bottom? It's all additional dependencies. Does it not do that for me? I'm going to leave that for now, see what happens. So my pip file is updating. While that's working, I'm going to have a look at the Enviroplus tutorial. Right. What's on Enviroplus? Lots of fun things that I should probably understand before I start coding for it, but... How to attach to your Pi. Uh, yes, I've got that attached. I guess we should look at the example code, shouldn't we? Weather. That's fun looking. So if we get the URL to the raw, can I tell you what we can do this in Jupyter Calm. So So when I run this, it's not going to work yet because I haven't restarted the kernel. So no module named SMBus. So let's restart the kernel and run all and then see if we do need to install those additional things. No module named SMBus. Okay, fine. Is that one of the things that it told me to install? Uh, Python SMBus, yep. So I will do these. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave off Python setup tools because it should get that automatically if it really wants it and I do have it installed. So I'm going to update apt because it's missed some things. Again. Okay, yes. Well, this is looking good. Image quant, libtiff, that's all curl stuff. Okay. Let's try that notebook again. Kernel restart and run all. No module SM bus. Yay! Python. No module SM bus. 
Uh, but, yeah, so it's in the global. So I've installed this globally, which is of no help because I've got to pip env install. And that isn't pulling in packages from the site packages, which is good because it means it's not getting polluted. But we should have installed those directly, really. So Python SM bus. What is that? A drop in replacement for SM bus CF no, SM bus two is not. Python SM bus Ubuntu. Why am I doing Ubuntu? Well, that's close enough to that's been. Um, Python SMBus 3.11 enables SMBus access. Bus. Oh, that's fun. I just got C detect. Let's see, is it finding anything? Yeah, it's found some things. Cool. Um, uh, right, so it's sort of person two anyway. Horrid. So let's try Python 3 SM bus. Is that going to let me? That's a thing. Okay. Python 3 import SM bus. Yeah. If, um, now here's what I see. Was it actually blocking it? Yes, it was. Okay. So Python 3 import SM bus. SM bus is that thing. So it looks like it might be SM bus too. So let's give that a go. So the problem we're having here is that the instructions tell you to install something called Python SM bus, which controls the interface between the Raspberry Pi and the Enviro Plus in Python. The difficulty is that's installed through the operating system package manager, which installs it into the global namespace. And we've got an independent little uh, pip env environment. We could have installed things into the global namespace, but then if we've got multiple things installed, it's a bit tricky and it's hard to keep dependencies together. Um, incidentally, this is one of the reasons that some people don't like pip env, because they prefer to just have containers or virtual machines dedicated to a task so they don't have this problem of layering between the system namespace and the Pipenv namespace, but personally, I quite like the idea of having separate little virtual environments. So, I think that SMBus2 is the Python package that is equivalent to Python SMBus in Raspbian. So, I'm now going to try that out. Python. So I cannot import SMBus. I can import SMBus2. So, now it's wrong. I don't know why I didn't spot that before. SMBus 1.1. So I've only installed SMBus 2. And it's into the locking because I'm about to install SMBus and that will cause it to relock anyway. Okay. The other things that you wanted me to install were NumPy and Pill, weren't they? So I guess I should check if those are installed before I go charging ahead. No numpy, no pill. So, so I'm going to install numpy, and I'm going to install pillow, which is Alex Clark's fork of pill, so that it's installable. Way back when you couldn't install Pell through a set of tools. I don't know if you can now. Um, 
So people would just remember URLs to repackage versions of pill that you could install. Like dist.repose.org forward slash pill hyphen 1.1.6.tar.gz. I've typed that so many times before Alex stepped up and made pillar. There's also pill WOTK, which was a, a variant of pill that didn't have tickle TK support, and that was pip installable. Should have known really, Python SMBus, of course it's going to be pip install SMBus. Yeah, this is taking ages. Let's have a look at this example code while I'm waiting. So, oh, this does from SMBus2 import SMBus, so I could have used SMBus2. Well, that was uh, stupid of me, wasn't it? Okay. Uh, should have read that. Right, so, use either SMBus, then import BME280, give it the SMBus object, and then you can get temperature, pressure, humidity. Okay. So I don't actually need any of these things it's installing right now, I don't think, because I'm not using the screen. I'm not handling the data, I just want to get the value of that BME to AC sensor. So can I be cheeky? Can I just restart and run all during the middle of the pin operation? Logging is not defined. Ah, brilliant. Right, so that's because I removed it. Uh, let's that. Yeah, okay. So temperature 24.11 degrees C. Pressure 689.31 HPA. HPA, what's that? Relative humidity 91.33 Uh That sounds a bit high. Okay. Um, pressure and leads. Weather forecast leads. Barometer ten fourteen point two HPA. Humidity forty six point six. Right. Okay. Bit dubious. Okay, the oh that looks a lot better. No, temperature's too high. So it's it's not thirty five degrees. The pressure should be over a thousand. The humidity should be what? Uh, ah, I know. Pi at R Pi Lounge. I put four lounge. Password. Okay, the relative humidity downstairs is 43.5, there's a glitch in this version, uh, and temperature is 20.8. So I'm expecting humidity in the 40s and temperature in the 20s. I mean, it's possible this is wrong, but Hmm. Hmm. Not great. Let's see what else we can manage. Weather and light. Let's try that. Ooh, that's long. That's really long. That does a lot of stuff. Environment plus. There's got to be a simple. Thing for me to look at. Okay, I guess I'm going to grab one of these. Let's do all in one. What? And I'm going to be lazy and just dump it into this cell. And then let's see what happens. Uh, importing non-coy seats engines failed. 
I'll set that finished. Now I can do kernel restart. Let's Google this out. Atlas base dev apparently, not libblos dev. I don't even know if the convincing numpy is going to be forcing it to rebuild. So let's try that. Restart kernel, we'll start. Right, let's try this noise binning one. Lib open JP2 can I open shared object. Really we should be approaching this with a bit more method. No module name sound device. That's interesting. Sound device. What sound device? It's one of the dependencies by the looks of it. Install requires sound device, right? There's no sound device there, but it's this it is install requires. Revival plus, right? Standard files. So this is the wheel. If I grab that. Zip it. Viral plus um, this is the method. Requires just there's no sound device there. Why is there no sound device there? Has this changed in the making time? 17th of March, 16th of March. What? What's going on? Library, set up CFG, sound device. Sound device, add depths for noise measurement seven months ago. Right. Fine. So why? Why is that not there? Sound device. Delete the 
Yeah, thank you for the red three. Um, Python two three nine. Three three. So we should regenerate the egg info directory as well as create the wheel. Egg info, yeah. And there's no sound device. It's in setup CFG sound device. CFG sound device and a bunch of tests. What's going on? Ah, look at that. There's a install requires in setup py, which doesn't include sound device. So this is a bug release. All right, okay. Issues. Should we check that? Install misses package. Yes. No. Right. What's the release as of that? requires that, which is March the 24th, so the 16th wasn't it, so it's eight days later this got fixed. Right. Packages in viral plus, which is what I get. check there's no existing issue here. Sound device. So dependency needed, for example we're speaking an error, we need to pass installed. Okay, so I think I'm gonna call that a day for now. Um it's a little tricky to proceed without the underlying library being installed correctly. Uh, I think next time I'm going to try installing sound device manually and see what we can do. So uh, thanks for watching me get frustrated at not knowing how to do simple package installation in Python.